Okay, welcome to Talking with Jody from Two Perspectives. Again, this is the second time we're doing this Two Perspective thing on Talking with Jody. This is a uh, like Friday, oh, I guess it's the Friday the 13th. I'm not really a suspicious. Suspicious? No, yeah. I might be suspicious, but, um,. What is it? What is the word I'm t trying to think of? Man, I'm so tired of it. I've got the sinus infection and that's just fucking up my already addled mind. Yeah, but uh, I think my mind has been addled for some time because of this. Oh, wait, just a second. Because of this uh, deal. Brandy! Did you... Oh, thank I'm you. I'm so sorry for those insane <laughs> messages. I'm happy that you have your babies with you, too. Yes. I try to, them and I try to talk to them and uh, tell them to leave them so they don't, wouldn't charge you. But uh, they didn't listen to me. No, uh, and they left my cat in there for seven days. Jesus Christ. Uh, but Carlos know. must have heard her and went and dug her out. She had no food, no water. I didn't know you had a cat. I know. I hate I those gone. cops. But... I, but sorry I'm that. sorry for the insanity, no, and I was hoping that you knew. You're fine. Do okay, not apologize. I love you, and I'm going to support you with that okay. deal. Okay. However, I, I can. You're, you're okay. We're okay. Don't worry. You know I have those issues, and occasionally I glitch. I know you're okay. Like a I, computer that's overloaded. When you are okay, don't worry. Thank and you. And I'm glad to okay. see you that you're okay. Okay, so, thank, thank you. God. Love you. No meal horenge kyo. Sorry Bye. again. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> That was a neighbor that I went kooky on before I went, got arrested. So, I mean, I didn't really get arrested, dude. It was just something. Uh, uh, it's just easier to use that word. Okay. Um, dog, uh, baby girl, come here. Baby girl's just kind of hunkering down and walking backward, like I keep saying. Uh, but I, but it helped her take a run for getting up on the bed. But anyway, um, yeah, my dog, I've been glitching. My dogs are glitching. I'm, I'm kind of done glitching, but now sunshine is glitching from the stress of all that trauma. And that was so sweet. My friend Brandy, my neighbor Brandy, I was out there screaming, sending her crazy texts. And I'm not saying that I wasn't glitching. I'm saying that they arrested me what might have been illegally and certainly immorally uh, for all the reasons I've outlined in a bunch of clips. So anyway, I, uh, yeah, my um, superstitious, that's the word. I'm not really superstitious about Friday the 13th, but I know some people who seem to be quite superstitious about that kind of thing, but I'm not. Let me see if I can move my seat. There's my cornucopia. I got a whole bunch of shit. Not shit. I mean, really nice stuff from yesterday. And I'm happy about it. I love my stuff. I When I first started practicing Buddhism, there's some videos of me talking about, oh, stuff doesn't matter, stuff doesn't matter. I'm glad I had that attitude because I have tons of stuff. If I had thought stuff mattered, I'd have way more. And if you count all the stuff that I have either given away, $60,000 worth, I tracked it. Not meticulously, but in a general sense, I tracked it. So $60,000 worth of stuff I've given away. And all of the stuff that has been stolen from me and Darren, including money, three vehicles. One was an RV, one was a van and one was my car. And, um, uh, money, $9,000. 
worth of cash. And tons of, you know how I love clothes. I always acquire tons of clothes and they've taken tons of my beautiful clothes, faux furs, costumes of all kinds and uh, art supplies and tons of actual art, furniture, a leather jacket that originally cost 500 bucks that I got before I ever came here. It was a gift to me and a Harley jacket and now somebody else got that. Lucky fucker. But and some, uh, another Harley, I don't know what it's called, it's in one of the videos, but uh, I can't think of what it's called right now. Shit, I gotta be able to use my mind. I mean, it's just this sinus stuff. I hate sinus stuff, I hate talking about sinus stuff, but let's get honest, it's affecting me a little bit and the gods told me this morning to get up and go they didn't say to get up early or anything I was awake really early I was awake at like 3 40 and, and slept a little tiny bit since then but the gods told me to go to the doctor and get some antibiotics they told me to wear this shirt and they told me to go in and say to the receptionists um, that I want to see the best doctor in Santa Fe, Isaac Zoller. And <laughs> so I, I, you know, I, that's what they want me to say. I'm not saying that that's what I would normally, normally say. I'm saying that's, that was what they told me to, to say, so I'm going to get a taco. Like, not quite up for doing that. They're, they're not wanting me to wear this wig when I do it. But anyway, all this stuff has been taken from us. And um, I don't really know the point of what I'm saying is... I acquire stuff. I acquire stuff. And I told my daughter today, with all this stuff that I acquire all the time, that just comes to me, like it's in the trash, and then I fill up my whole car with it, and have all this stuff, on top of all the stuff I have. And I am gonna donate some things to the hospital, where last time I stayed there, I brought in a few boxes of donations of clothes and stuff because I appreciate that they give me stuff when I'm in there. This one's gonna have to be called stuff, isn't it? Stuff and stuff. But I told my daughter today, eventually that my acquisitions are going to include money. You know, eventually I'm going to be finding money in huge bags of money in the dumpsters and just fill up my car with it. You know, so it's, it's, it's real close. <laughs> I don't know how close real close is, but it's close. It's closer than it was yesterday. My daughter, out of the kindness of her heart and her husband, gave me a little money to help with, with my bills and stuff, so I decided I'm going to go to Baja Tacos, and she would approve.
now I've been craving tacos. I just do sometimes, I crave tacos. Like, oh my God, I can only like eat a taco. And like yesterday, they told me I couldn't, or the day before, eat any food out because I didn't have the money. So now I have the money and I can go to buy tacos, which I've gone to like once in about five years or longer. I don't know if Darren ever went to Baja Tacos with me, so it might be 10 years, once in 10 years. When I first moved here 16 years ago, my kids and I always ate at Baja Tacos. We loved it. But then I kind of switched over to burritos and went to burrito spot forever. But I just got to have me some tacos. It, I'm sure that I'm craving it because it's good for me right now with my head the way it is. So I'm, I'm doing talking with Jody stuff and stuff. And uh, the gods had told me that they wanted me to shoot the video up my nose or you know under my chin and all that. So I'm doing that, but I'm also doing the second perspective, which is in front of me, there on the dash, facing me more. And uh, I liked that. The last one I did, I watched the different perspectives several times, and I experienced the clips differently because of it. I'd be curious to know what Sean thought, because I bet he also experienced each one different differently but I also know that each clip the same clip as I go back to it over and over and over is different so maybe it's just more overt though when the uh, the clip is filmed from two different angles at the same time and then I release them at the same time. I'm trying to do that, to, I'm trying to release them at the same time so the audience can watch them both one after another if they have time and stuff. And I didn't get a lot of sleep last night or the night before so I, uh, Um, I'm not my, not at my uh, best. I tried to call Darren a couple times to have him let me bring him some of his stuff, but he must have lost his phone because he hasn't answered or responded, which is so Darren. I wish he would keep track of his phone, but that's on him now, and that's one of the things that. You know, I'm kind of overstepping my boundaries to to try to tell him that he needs to keep track of his phone. I mean, it's obvious, but it's not my business now. And that's why I kicked him out, so I wouldn't have to have that as my business. Anyway, um, they're wanting me, the gods are wanting me to expound the law especially on this one, from this angle, so that the Uglies and the Venezuelan Mafia dudes will like it, this show. The gods know what the fuck they're doing. They know what the fuck they're doing. If they tell me to wear this shirt, I can probably get away with not wearing it, but when I do wear it, or I do put my hair, one day they told me to put my hair up in a mismatched hair tie, like a bright blue hair tie. I had to go with like pink or purple or something because I didn't have the blue one. And, uh, and go talk to some girl at some business. I can't remember the details, I'm sorry dudes. A lot has happened, and it's probably been about a month. But 
when I do it, a lot of times, I can go back and say, oh, I see the wisdom in that. Oh, I see the wisdom in how they had me wait to post that, or they had me post it right now, you know, or they had me go over here. Like, I've uh, been driving around going, man, I really want to run into Jeff. He's in Texas right now, but before he left, I really want to run into Jeff. And uh, then I was sitting there at a stop sign, stoplight, and my head kept moving to the right, and Jeff was sitting in the car next to me, you know? Or they told me to go a certain way, and then I ran into a friend on the road, or, you know, or I, I went, and just the timing was perfect with something, even when I thought the timing wasn't. Well, anyway, I hope that's expounding the law. One of the things we've been talking about is sleep time with Luna, motherfucking P-I-M-P-S, uh, was posted today and actually filmed in the middle of the night when I wasn't sleeping, but Sean was sound asleep, and I'm glad. I wanted him to be asleep. I was holding him and cradling him so that he could sleep well. And, um, uh, I'm almost while well, I talk to this, but, um, it talks about how the practice of Nichiren Buddhism, it's a very specific Buddhism, there's none like it, you go, what, that's Buddhism? I'm like, what? A Buddha? A religion? What? Uh, that's weird. That's the exact opposite of how you think of Buddhism. if they've got a drive through and if not, well, I'll go in. Yeah, I think they do. That's a long line. Not that long, I'm sorry. It's just a few cars. So, we, I talked about Luna and I talked about how Nichiren Buddhism is about lessening our karmic retribution, or another way of saying it is expiating our karma, or cutting our karma, or mitigating our karma, like making our karma come out where we only experience a portion of it through this practice and expiate it, make it go away. You know, like all these times I've been, say, arrested, thrown in jail or thrown in um, the mental institution. I'm lessening my karmic retribution and in theory and in practice, it's supposed to be getting better. And I will say, instead of staying four or five days at the fucking suicide watch fucking horrible i stayed eight days at the mental ward where they feed you hand over fist and they're nice to you and they treat you real sweet you know i'm not saying i like the way that it happened and stuff like that but i'm saying it's better it's better way better and may it continue to get better and never be worse you know but i don't know future but it's whatever karma is like before I started practicing Buddhism I was never arrested it wasn't even a thing not even a thing not even a close to a thing but once I started practicing Buddhism I, it, it says Nichiren says that 
well, the Lotus Sutra says, shit, sorry, dudes. The Lotus Sutra says, we are, um, we will be banished again and again. It says, they will be banished again and again, the practitioners. And whenever I heard that, that I would be banished again and again, I don't know what it is about me. I'm uh, telling you guys uh, the way that I connect with this Buddhism. I was like, I fucking can't wait. I just love the idea of being banished again and again. And believe you me, I have been. That stopped. Not really. Um, I think I've been banished from a couple places since I went kooky. Um, but... Do you have a like a taco plate? Sorry, what was that? Do you have a taco plate? We don't have like um, taco plate. Okay, how about I go with four ground beef tacos with how many? Four. Four. Four and. Uh, you want and, lettuce, tomato, onion, and chicken? Yes, everything, please. And a container of salsa. And Do you need extra salsa? Yes, thank you. Anything else? And uh, one of a large, your largest pink lemonade. One large lemonade. Yeah, pink lemonade. What else? Oh, okay, thank you. Sorry, what was that? Uh, one, your largest pink lemonade. We only have one size. And okay. It's Thirty-two ounces. Okay, that's perfect. What else for you? Um, an uh, order of, uh, I, I think that's all. Thank you. Okay, 1478. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for here, for Santa Fe, that's a good deal. I usually don't buy drinks when I go places and I get my drink from, uh, I don't know what is happening where you guys can't see my, see me. Uh, uh, there, you're supposed to be able to see me. Probably perfect. Um, I usually buy my drink from McDonald's and it costs like less than $2. But I'm like, what the hell? I'm just going to buy one. I don't know why I'm cranky. Well, honestly, it's because I have a mixture of this sinus thing. And um, I haven't slept really to speak of. I require a lot of sleep, dudes. So if I could get a normal person's amount of sleep, then it would not even come close to what I need. But I'm happy, dudes, even though if I'm cranky. Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you.